YouTube. Oh my God. Uh, YouTube, take it easy. Where have we been? Oh my God. Let me just verklempt. Anyway, um, yeah, this is crispy, people. You know what I mean? Yeah, squad, don't matter. Let's get into this. Real quick, I just want to send a shout out to everybody. Not even just like, I mean, like, even like people I don't like and stuff like that. Just everybody. And that word I mean with like eight R's. Everybody. Yeah, dude, thanks everybody out there, man. Um, I got a ton of uh, real cool comments and stuff like that. A lot of people asking, like, are you alive? And uh, yes, I am alive. <laughs> anyway, uh, I took a little hiatus from YouTube. Now, normally I take a week here, a week there, you know. Uh, this time I took a little bit longer. I took a couple of months off. Uh, had to deal with some family stuff. Um, a little dive into Crispy's life. Uh, I jumped around a lot as a young bull. But uh, long story short, I was raised by my aunt. Uh, her name was uh, Mickey Morris, Mary Morris. And uh, she raised me. And um, she passed away. So that's it. I'm not going to get into it. I promised myself I wouldn't get verklempt. So uh, let's get into this video, all right? Uh, I got a couple concepts picks up pickups right here. Concepts. Oh my God, do they just merc shit on the reg, or what? Dion Point, uh, the Mad Scientist, all them dudes up there. I would love to just get in like a brainstorming meeting and just come up and be like, all right, guys, listen, I want to do a shoe dedicated to Mr. Rogers, like the neighborhood. You know that dude, the sweater dude. That dude was so g'd up from the feet. He would come in his crib and take off his whole wardrobe and put on his indoor wardrobe, like new shoes and everything. Like, dude, that just that just makes me want to like better myself. You know what I mean? But um, they just got a couple really dope releases now. I got uh, I'm switching between my uh, summer gear, and my winter gear, so I had a lot of this stuff out. If we get into the, to the gear, that you know that's neither here nor. I'm gonna have a lot more videos. Like I'm back. You know what I mean? It took me a little while, but um, I'm here. I want to say thank you to New Balance Chicago. They did this little Instagram thing where uh, if you basically like posted this image, you got entered into this uh, this contest or whatever, and um, I won. So they sent me this really cool card and um, you know con uh, consoling me or whatever for my loss, a bunch of stickers and. Um, a hundred dollar gift card so um thank you so much new balance you also got this cool t-shirt new balance chicago and this copper new balance shoehorn for all you young boys out there when you used to go to the uh to the shoe store like this place called phil shoes it was always like a guy's name like apostrophe s and then the word shoes like jim's shoes or like noah's shoes you know what i mean so uh you would go in and they would use these things to hoist your foot into the shoe you know what i mean so yeah, that's what that is. A uh, little pin, whatever. Like, thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate that. And uh, concepts, let's get into these. So earlier in the summer, man, I've been going for a minute and a half. They, they did this medieval box. Look at these letters right here. Just a really, really nice job. I know, I know you guys are like, well, we don't want to see these, but guess what? You know, this is what you get. Anyway, uh, one C sees, yo, uh, I think everybody has their story about how they like blew off their finger or, you know, I don't really have that. You know, I mean, we used to like, uh, you know, mess with fireworks and stuff like that. But wow, this shoe, as soon as I saw it, I, I knew that it was, you know, it was it was meant to be. But um, this joint right here is just amazing. I knew it as soon as I peeped, like I peeped game and then I saw it. But uh, this color right here, it's like a bone. Oh, just such a great shoe. Um, it just had to happen, like. I think the white laces look dope, but uh, you see the roll bar technique right there. This right here, if you ever seen the packaging, like the 575, probably more well known for the uh, the, the staple ones and whatever, but um, it's almost like a hiking shoe. I love how they did the bottom in gray. You can't really beat this, man. Gotta send a big shout out to Concepts. I figured I would start my videos with Concepts and then go from there, you know? But, uh... Yeah, man, fireworks were always dope as a kid. And up in up in Philly, where I'm from, like, we couldn't get them. Like, you know, we could get, like, the sparklers. We got, like, the uh, the rated G 
fireworks you know what i mean like sparklers and uh the little joints that are all tied together and you light one and it sounds like a machine gun you know the kind of, that the kid from home alone used what was his name macaulay and them yeah the kind that he used <laughs> remember home alone oh my god he had joe pesci and that other dude straight going through it oh my god i felt so bad for you i felt bad for the robbers is that wrong just like when i watch cops and i'm like get away run run they're on your tail no i'm always rooting against the cops that's why I can't watch cops. The insoles are just dope. So concepts. Did your did your thing right there. Now this one, Diodora N9000. Now Diodora. Once again, growing up in Philly, brands were always not totally important when we were coming up. If a shoe was dope, it was dope. Extra laces. I like the ropes, but I've always been a flat rope or a flat lace kind of dude. But, um, they killed these. Absolute killed. So, uh, let's get that out of the way. Green laces, as far as I'm concerned, are uh, uh, most definite. Now, if you compare these with the C-Notes, they do look kind of similar in a way. Of course, you have that patch right there. Great, great, great call on that. This one right here, though. Can't really complain about that. The materials are always A1 when you get a collab, usually. And a lot of people are saying Lyre or Lyre. I'm just going to say it totally bad on purpose. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it Lyra. <laughs> yo, 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 got them Lyra. <laughs> uh, but I love how they put that in that navy blue. You can't beat this. I love Perf Nubuck. Nothing better than a Perf. But the laces are actually really soft, too. Amazing, amazing quality on these. The whole, this is the, the main reason I copped is for this midsole. I love how the different color midsole, like this, it's almost like a, uh, like a gum. Once again, the gray bottom, same for that right there. Very similar kicks. But, um, and this blue right here, amazing call. Can't beat that right there. Amazing shoe. And of course the insoles once again. Like you don't come to Crispy for the crazy in-depth review. Like GT fan, he'll go into detail. He'll be like, now this leather right here, this leather right here came from a tannery on the outskirts of Bedneric, New Zealand. And um, the man who made it was a quiet man. Some say he was hiding something. Uh, nah, but um, the cow feasted on, on evergreen trees and had no fear of alley cats or lions. Um, therefore, his leather was extra bombacious. But uh, yeah, dude, it's, this is a vicious, mictitious shoe. Um, I don't even know where I'm at with time. I, well, I don't even know where I'm at right now, but um, polo socks. I'm just, I'm just going all over the place. This is crispy vintage. Uh, this right here, this is gonna go with my premier 998 that'll be another video i got a whole bunch of videos coming for you guys polo t-shirt right here with the gloves love this one right here polo had a, an awesome sale 79.50 um oh, i just noticed that it's pretty cool um 25 or 30 percent off everything yo right here i went in i went in macy's one day and and uh all of a sudden like all the lights like start to dim and i saw the sale rack and all of a sudden it was just like me in slow motion and i was just like microphone checker swinging sword lecture supreme neck protector macy's got the sale uh and um i got this sweater zip up joint 225 for 32 bucks and these shorts 89.50 for 15.99 just your basic uh cargo short um you know but uh, i can't pass up a pair of shorts for 15 bucks you get the horse right there, and the zippers are bad, dude. RL in the zipper. Little pockets in the front right here. Yo, this right here is for my Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood get up. Mm. But uh, I caught this knit real cheap, 125. I mean, I caught this for like, like 20 bucks, something like that. Next. Chambray, shout out to Eddie Wynn. If you look up Chambray shirt in the dictionary, Eddie Wynn's posted up with a pair of sock and he's like, what? 
That's just how that's just how like, that's just how he does. Ralph Lauren on the inside. I love this little polo joint right here on the pocket. Nah, but you can't really front on these. These are bad. And yo, I love this part. You see how like the inside is that little hit of khaki? So you could just rock your uh you know, you could rock your capris and just look vicious. Sawed off shotgun, hand on the pump. All right, right here, J. Crew had a had a crazy sale. This is a pair of Wallace and Barnes. Uh, it's basically like a pair of sweats that has, uh, you know, like the cuff bottom. Uh, a pair of joggers, real cheap. I caught all these for like ultra sales, like twenty bucks. Got some more polo here. Now I like polo. That's just me. Like Ralph Lauren is like my my bag. Polo RL. Sorry, uh, a song just came on that I'm pretty uh, pretty happy about. So, oh my god. Uh, do a picture on my mama, but you couldn't make my day. Doing this video every single way. All right. I'm getting so hype right now. Oh my god! I'm about to go take Jake to a dog fight, grab a hot dog down off Frankfurt Ave, you know? Go down to Kensington and Allegheny, find a girl of the street, take her in, buy her some nice clothes, you know, change her life. <laughs> Polo RL, wash canvas, straight fit. And you can tell what I'm feeling it because the camera. <laughs> uh, straight crispy two step. Polo RL on the inside, just a pair of canvas pants, you know what I mean? I'm not going to show these on body, <laughs> but uh, 98 bucks, um, I think I have the receipt for all this stuff, these are so cheap, yo, really, really dope sale on uh, online. Denim, get them all down, uh, I think these were 98 again, and these were 30 bucks, I believe, straight fit, see the problem is a lot of my old jeans, I lost a few LBs. Uh, a lot of my stuff's real baggy. I'm trying to get a little bit less baggy. Not because I hate you. Black denim. These were $29.99 plus 30% off. These were 20 bucks. And I got them a little bit longer so you can like uh, bunch them up a little bit at the bottom and you need that cuff. Here's my purchase of the Millennium. Rag and bone, standard issue, fit to size 38 that little rb logo this is selvage standard issue uh i went a little bit crazy with these uh these were not cheap i had them hemmed professionally i walked in and there was this there was this old dude in the back with a pair of scissors i was like yo he was like yo you need that i was like no doubt he was like all right i got you and now they're perfectly crispy sized i'm not even gonna tell you how much i paid fuck it 175 bucks i know but I spend it on a pair of sneakers, I'll probably get more wear out of these jeans. I just look at it like it's a win. Dippy, dippy, drools, dippy, dippy, drools. <laughs> uh, so that's the denim. Yo, <laughs> I couldn't walk out without these. I'm sorry. I'm probably never going to wear them. $98. They were $9.97 plus 30% off. I got these for like five bucks. Polo. Anybody that's a 38... Uh, 3830 that wants a pair of uh, corduroys. Holler at the boy. All right, man. New Balance Chicago. Thank you. Very, very dope t shirt. You got the two pairs of Concepts kicks. Crispy's back. At it like a craftmatic. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody out there that just hung in there like that little cat hanging from the tree and it says shit happens. Yeah, man, you guys have really been in my corner, like Mick and Rocky, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, oh, uh, uh, why will you give up my locker? Uh, cause you ain't worth shit, Rock. Oh, hey, oh, Mick, uh, shoe sign box. That was my Rocky and my, uh, Rambo all in one. So, uh, yeah, that's about it, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna two-step my way out of this video, cause I really don't have any good way to close it. Um, everybody out there making YouTube videos, man, you guys look professional. Eddie Wynn, Fomer Simpson, all you guys, man. Um, Rack TV, oh my God, kicks on fire, kid. Okay, kid, okay. I see you. 
Um, you, you guys look so professional, man. And, and truthfully, it made me stop and like, yo, can I even still make? Is there still a spot for me? Like for my no editing, uh, raw bone, uh, videos, you know what I mean? I got the mailman outside. I am giving him the stinkiest stink eye of all time as I wonder if he's got a package. Mmm. All right. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I'm going to upload this right now as we speak. This is two fingers from Philadelphia and uh, I will be back. Thank you to all the guys with the comments and everything. And if you like this video, if you want to see more like this, please comment down there and I will get back to everybody with four R's. This is crispy fish grease. I am back like I forgot my car keys. <laughs> uh...